Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for another Commander Snack. So this is the series where we take a look at a different legendary creature each time. And we go digging through the packs here, looking for creatures of the same type. So today, the Commander is Galta Primal Hunger, legendary creature, Elder Dinosaur. Very cool. So these were quite common in Ixlan, Rivals of Ixlan. Galta Primal Hunger costs X less to cast where X is the total power of creatures you control. And he has Trample. He's a 12, 12 for 12. That is quite ridiculous. The Earth Walks, strongest of all. And check out this beast. Absolutely massive. So they had a whole heap of Elder Dinosaurs in Ixlan and Rivals of Ixlan. What is your favorite Elder Dinosaur from that set? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, and the patron today is Trevor Chrismere. Thank you for being a patron, sir. So I wish I'd had some Ixlan, Rivals of Ixlan, but these packs here all have dinosaurs, hopefully. So let's see, we'll go alternating something like this. All right, let's get stuck into it. And the patrons also get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. And Trevor is also very keen on tokens, so we'll be keeping an eye out for various tokens as well for him. Starting off, we have a Loxodon Sergeant, quite a bulky fellow, but alas, not a dinosaur. Kazmina's Transmutation, Goblin Assault Team Creature, Goblin Warrior, yes, love the goblins. Charity Extractor, Primordial Worm, there's another one of a huge scale. Herald of the Dread Horde, Gateway Plaza, Tamio's Epiphany, Trusted Pegasus, Mayhem Devil, first of the Uncommons, Heartwarming Redemption, and I don't know if you've seen, uh, there's one of those cards where the character is standing in this area where there's actually a Gideon statue, so I thought that was fun callback to that other card. If you know what one I'm talking about, leave a note in the comments. We've got a Tybalt Rakish Instigator, so I'll put in this Planeswalker for you as well. And the rare is Khan's Bastion. So it's land, you can tap it for colorless mana, pay for, tap, proliferate. That means choose any number of permanents and or players and give each another counter of each kind already there. Alright, and a foil, Kazmina's Transmutation. With an island and a wolf token. All right, so let's go token collecting. See how many different types we can get for you. Okay, so we've got a wolf onward to core 2020. I'm not sure if there are any dinosaur tokens here. Those are probably only in Ixalan or Rivals. Okay, next up, M20. We have Anticipate, Fire Elemental. Inspired Charge, Octo Prophet, there's another beefy dude. Blade Brand, Mammoth Spider, Centaur Corsa, Prismite, Pacifism, and this is hilarious if you take a closer look at the artwork there. Looks like he's uh, holding a whole bunch of stuff. Got, looks like pigs and stuff hanging down there. Craziness. Undead Servant. So, Zombie Colossus Hammer. Check out the size of that thing. Incredible. Gauntlets of Light. Okay, so second uncommon. Barkai Troll. Yes, we have been trolled. Alas. And the rare is Shifting Ceratops. Fantastic. Creature Dinosaur 5-4 four for 4. This spell can't be countered. It has protection from blue. So this creature can't be blocked, targeted, dirt damage, enchanted, or equipped by anything blue. Pay a green, shifting ceratops gains your choice of reach, trample, or haste until end of turn. Okay, so I'm glad we managed to pull a dino for you today. We get evolving worlds and a very bright elemental token. Okay, so two different tokens there. On to Dominaria. So I think there is precisely one dinosaur in this set. Hopefully we can pull that one. We have Keldon Warcaller, Artifice's Assistant, Excavation Elephant, okay, so another huge creature there. Lanawar Scout, 
Dark Bargain, Kelden Overseer, Academy Journey Mage, Broken Bond, Blessed Light, Pegasus Corsa, Memorial to Genius. All right, so first uncommon, Thorn Elemental, Shield of the Realm, and what's it going to be? It is Marwyn the Nurturer, Legendary Creature Elf Druid 1 1 for 3. At least in the same colours as uh, Gauter, at least. Whenever another elf enters battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Marwan the Nurturer. Tap it for adding any or add an amount of green equal to Marwan's power. Ah, okay. So maybe elves and dinos could be a thing. Forest and a sapling token. Check it out. So we're getting a nice variety of tokens for you today, sir. So onward. War the Spark again. So see if we can get a rare or mythic planeswalker this time around. Okay, starting off with Sky Theatre Strix. Goblin Assailant Creature Goblin Warrior. Makeshift Battalion. Kazmina's Transmutation again. Dust Mantle Operative. Vivian's Grizzly. Spell Gorger Weird. That is amazingly bright here. Arboreal Grazer, Herald of the Dread Horde, Prismite, and Uncommon's Rescuer Sphinx, Dovin's Veto, Arlen Voice of the Pack, so Planeswalker here, at least it's a green Planeswalker, and the rare is Widespread Brutality in the Rakdos Colors Sorcery for four, a mass two then, the army you amass deals damage equal to its power. For each non-army creature. So the deal with that is to amass two, put two plus one plus one counters on an army you control. If you don't control one, create a zero zero black zombie army creature token first. And an island. And a goblin token. Alright, the best kind of token there. <clears throat> so next core 2020. Couple of dinos in here. So fingers crossed and look. Right off the bat, there we are. That's what we're looking for, people. Rip Scale Predator, Creature Dinosaur 6 5 for 6 with Menace. Dinosaurs really understand the idea of boundaries between the wild and the urban landscape. Whoops, okay. Don't know how they're going to deal with that thing. Put him over here. We have Disenchant, Moat Piranhas. Bone Splinters, Plummet, Soul Savage, Mammoth Spider, Anvil Rot Raptor, Chandra's Ember Cat, yep, okay, Uncorn's Fencing Ace, Sky Knight Vanguard, Chandra's Spitfire, and um, oh, not a mythic, it's a rare Planeswalker, nice, Chandra Acolyte of Flame. Thought this was the mythic Chandra for a second. Our legendary Planeswalker Chandra, four loyalty for three. So she has two zero abilities. Put a loyalty counter in each red Planeswalker you control. The second one here. Create two one one red elemental creature tokens. Again, haste second at the beginning of the next end step. Minus two. May cast target instant or sorcery card with command mana costs three or less from your graveyard. If that card would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. All right, nice. And a foil soul mender. Check out the foiling on that thing. Very tasty. Scoured barons, and you get another wolf token, but it's different this time. All right, so different wolves. Um, how many? We've got two dinosaurs. Okay, so hoping to beef that up in this pack of dominaria here. Let's see. And that last one, that was M20, and where'd it go? Okay, yeah. Oh, Shifting Ceratops. Here he is. Okay, so M20 as well. All right. Gear 2 Journey Mage. Opt. Invoke the Divine. Gaia's Protector. Caligo Skin Witch. Lanawar Envoy. Cloud Reader Sphinx. Navigator's Compass. Fiery Intervention. Ancient Animus. And Uncommon's Untamed Kevu. Board the Weatherlight, and rare is Khan's Temporal Sundering, legendary sorcery for six. Uh, target player takes an extra turn after this one, return up to one target, non-land permanent to its owner's hand, it's all Khan's Temporal Sundering. 
So you may cast legendary sorcery only if you control a legendary creature or planeswalker. That's the caveat there. And Garner the Blood Flame and a planes and Sapling. Okay, so you did get one of different tokens there. Very cool. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.